welcome back to OC Outdoorsman. It's almost 7 a.m. and we're back to Dana Point. Here with me today are Kevin, Mike, and then we may meet up with Glenn and another person a bit later, but weather's not too bad. It's like 53 degrees right now. No wind. Water temperature is at 63.5 degrees. And I just took off from Baby Beach. So now I'm making my way towards the bait barge and I realize I do mention that a lot in my video. So today I figured, you know, why not provide you with some video footage of that bait barge from the sky. So check it out. All right, I'm in over 400 feet of water. Let's try this spot. I think this is the deepest I've ever gone here at Dana Point. In the past, we'd go out to the uh, barber poles and that was just uh, around 100, 120 feet of water. Now I'm in over 400, so. Seeing some activity on the bottom, some rocks at least. Let's see what we can hook into out here. Look at this octopus. Release. Uh. I could probably use him as bait. Where do we go? 400 feet of water. Land an octopus. Look at this big old pod of dolphins just swimming right by me. Hundred and fifty six feet of water. And I think that's a Dana Pride right there. Yep. The air temperature never really passed 62 degrees, but you know, with all the pedaling we were doing out here, I started to overheat, so had to get rid of the jacket. A trap rig. Mm. 
these trap rigs, I think they're also known as halibut rigs, are really great because you put a hook through the nose and then a stinger hook through the tail so that you're sure to set that hook whenever a fish bites on your bait. And again, typically this is really popular when halibut fishing, but they work well for lingcod and other aggressive fish. So I'm using the Daiwa MCAST, which is a bait runner reel, since I'm using live mackerel. So this is a, a pretty cool setup because it has this lever here that engages the bait runner feature. So basically once, once you cast your bait into the water, you engage it by pulling the lever back like this. And what that does is it allows just enough drag for the fish to continue swimming without really opening the bale and just letting it run loose with all the line. So the cool thing about this is you could adjust the drag for this bait runner back here. So I can turn it to the left to loosen it or to the right to tighten it. The, the key is to give it just enough drag to let the, the fish swim a little without pulling all of your line out. And it also, I like to keep it tight enough to where if a big fish grabs a mackerel, it'll start pulling line and it'll, without really, without actually pulling my entire rod and reel into the water. So I have it tight enough to where there's just enough drag to keep the live mackerel in place and loose enough to where if a big fish grabs it, it can pull the line off and then I'll be able to grab it. So once you disengage the bait runner by pushing this lever forward, it's locked down. And now I can start reeling it in. It might have attacked my mackerel. Yeah, I heard you guys coming in. Where are you guys at right now? Right now, I'm uh, right by the boil rock. Just trolling mackerel behind me. Oh, well, gotcha. Yeah, some guy caught a, a 19 inch calico. It was nice. Uh, we all caught a bunch of uh, halibut. I actually got one. It was right on the money, 22 inches, but I didn't feel comfortable keeping it. So I let that go. And I caught that massive leopard shark. That was the biggest one that I caught. I need to put it in the kayak. And uh, the other guys, uh, you know, they just, you know, the local stuff, you know, no white sea bass, it's just calico bass here and there and uh, a couple of leopard sharks. Here I've stopped for a moment to clear my prop as I prepare to head back to Baby Beach. Although I only caught that one octopus, today was not a total loss because I got to test out a new piece of equipment for my GoPro Hero 7 Black. For the longest time, I've always had to bring three to four extra GoPro batteries with me for every single kayak fishing trip. So I purchased this extended battery. It's by DigiPower. The model is the Refuel Action Pack. Today I was on the water for five straight hours and the camera was on the whole time. When I got home, there's still plenty of power left. Keep in mind that it's only compatible with the GoPro Heroes 5, 6, and 7 Hero Black. But man, it is an awesome product. There's a link in the description if you're interested in checking this one out. As I make my way back to the landing point, here's some aerial footage of beautiful Baby Beach here at Dana Point. Enjoy.
Well, thanks again for watching, and if you haven't done so yet, please subscribe and smash that like button. Thanks again.